Hello everybody, what we're going to learn today, we're going to learn about changing your IP address on the WEP, otherwise known as the YES2 network. Uh, for those of you who are not aware of it, you can also use something called Ability Server. It just message me, I'll get it to you. It's a fr it's, it's free, but a, I don't know what the version is actually called, but I had to pay for it, but it's still considered free. Well, anyhow, it's got more shit to it than the um, the free version that's out there. It's hard to explain, okay? You get it with a donation. Well, point is, you can um, put an FTP server on here. You can Yes, you can put a web page up. It's going to take forever to load, but with uh, FTP, you can go in, and this is very private, and you can move around a lot, too. And with this, you can change your IP, and I'm going to show you how to do this, which supposedly is impossible to do on the Motorola phones. Secondly, it uses the part of the IP area that is considered to be internal and that's another excuse why Aaron who is and all that chooses not to anymore they used to show you whose IP is down there because it's obviously the government's the IP range we'll be using is actually in the 10 range and that belongs to uh, certain federal agencies I don't remember it's not ATF FBI it's something a little more serious than that it belongs to them well anyhow there's nothing you can do about it I wouldn't get too scared but here we go now what you're looking at here is S equals to everybody knows well I'm gonna just explain and assume everybody knows you don't need a username you don't need a password the only thing you need to dial is S equals to off your Motorola boost phone either or was what I meant by that delay in the word so I'm gonna sign in for the newbies again and I'm doing this live so anything that fucks up is gonna be shown alright now I signed in see down here I'm connected at 38.4 I told you in the other video how to do the settings so it doesn't stay at 19.2 and it brings the speed up to 26 sometimes I checked it out and it works now server IP you can't really change that um, I, I think I have well anyways it's 10.22.61 10.23.62 and some of you are saying no that is not how trust me when I did my FTP set it up the IP was 10 23, whatever it was at the time, different phones have different channels. I'm sorry, different IPs, obviously. So, what we're going to do is we're going to change the bottom on here 10, 22, 62. And I'm going to open up a secondary program just to show you that it is exactly what I'm doing. Alright, that was not what I was getting at there. I just downloaded it. Oh, yeah. iFinder's IP. It's not the one I was looking for earlier, but it will do. Okay. Resolve. You can see that's where I'm at, okay? Now, what do I do next? Oh, well, yes, I go over here to my connections, which is a little, probably a little off screen. Now, you guys can see it, show connections. I'll change that last number to anything I want, and that's what you guys can do too. Let's see. Yeah, I'll go to properties, that's what you're supposed to do. That's the modem. I want to go to the networking. And I want to stay <coughs> under IP, Internet Protocol, I want to go to Properties. Use the following address. I remember, I just want to, I don't want to screw it up the first time. Let's move this over here, and let's go to Details. Oh yeah, 10.23.6, okay. 10.23.6. I haven't experimented yet today with moving this other number, but I've gone up as high as 100 on this, okay? So let's pick a number, 77. Hit OK. Hit OK. Of course, yes. It's not going to take effect until I restart. So here I will close that window down. I will right click here and disconnect. And it's going to want to dial because I have it set to auto dial. All right, settings are in. I want to make sure. And we hit dial. <coughs> now, the good thing about this is you can fool them into thinking you're somebody else's phone. And whoever they are, you know who they are. I don't mean anything about that, but certain people know what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. And that should have changed the output. Yep. 10, 23, 6, 77. So basically, you have at least 100 IPs you can move around on. Here's another program that I have. Just obviously, if you subscribe to me, you'll find it. 
It's called a MAC address changer. Very nice thing to have. And what you'd be changing is this. I have issues with this because of other configurations. It might just say I can't go to the registry, but that is not true. All right. Anyhow, you can change the IP address of this. I'm sorry, excuse me, the MAC address as well. And that throws it off even further. I had a MAC address off of another phone and I changed it. I changed the IP and it thinks it's the other phone. So that's another angle hitting this, but there you go. You can change your IP and you want. Oh yeah, let's hit resolve. And there we are, 10.23.67. And I've actually gone way off the band. I've gone up as high as the uh, 60s before. Yeah, it's like 64, 68, and the IP has worked. So, um, it's all up to you guys' creativity and what you can do. And now you know how to change your IP on the WAP S equals 2 network, Motorola phone, Boost, Data Network. It has all those names. All right, guys. It's